Hello again, welcome to my YouTube channel. This time I am making a video on one of the subscribers' requests regarding certain nutrition facts. So I will welcome any suggestion from subscribers. Please just email me or write me in my YouTube channel with what specific topic you want me to discuss. This afternoon is no different. One of the subscribers asked whether she can just eat fruits and whether this fruit diet is healthy and therefore it can make her lose weight. We all know the benefits of fruits. It's a very good source of antioxidants and therefore we use it to protect our patients against cardiovascular disease. We actually recommend it for those patients to prevent cancer. At the same time, it's very high in natural vitamins. If you really like vitamins, fruits would be a very good source of it rather than taking in commercially available multivitamins. It is also very rich in fiber. I always recommend it for my diabetics because it puts or adds to the roughage in their diet so that they can have a very good bowel habits, which is very good for a healthy well-being. And lastly, it's also a very good source of minerals like potassium, thereby you can see that marathon runners in any marathon events, fruits like bananas would be a main, a staple of presentation in uh, any marathon events because it provides patients with a good source of minerals, specifically potassium. So fruits are part of the plate method. Fruit is always part of a healthy daily nutrition plate method. In fact, it is proportioned as in a part of the one fourth of the plate. I always allow fruits to be taken for my diabetics at one serving per meal, at least three times a day. The nutrition plan, however, never mentions unlimited fruits. And this is one of the myths that patients have just because their fruits unhealthy that they can eat unlimited amounts. Remember, too much of any good thing is bad. Thereby, too much fruit can also be bad. If fruit becomes a staple item at every meal, you may simply be eating too many carbohydrates to allow your body to lose weight. In other words, this is a source of extra calories, extra carbs that you don't need. For example, if you eat a fruit that can also spike your blood sugar, example, a banana, remember that a banana packs the same amount of carbs as two slices of bread. In fact, it may contain too much sugar, more than some candy bars. Furthermore, if you use fruits to help you lose weight, it actually cannot sustain you long because it does not contain other macronutrients like protein and fat, which are the macronutrients that make you feel full. Yes, it contains fiber, but not enough to prevent a drop in your blood sugar, and thereby it cannot prevent your hunger hormones from rising up. Furthermore, if you take too much fruits, remember, the sugar in fruit is called fructose. Fructose is the sugar that goes to the liver and is converted by a process called lipogenesis to fat and thereby contributes to a state of fatty liver. It elevates your triglycerides. So if you look at your blood test and you see that you have high triglycerides, you may have to reflect back on your nutrition. You may be eating too much lanzones or too much pomelo so that the triglycerides in your lipid profile goes up. As a result, this triglyceride-rich fruits promotes the buildup of fat around your organs. And this is what we call as the visceral fat or the bad fat. And what happens if your organs are filled with that fat? 
including the liver, they make the liver or the tissues insulin resistant. So the pancreas has to produce more insulin to penetrate the tissues. That's what we call insulin resistant state. This will therefore put stress on your pancreas to produce more insulin that will promote your patient to develop diabetes. Furthermore, too much fructose can also increase the production of free radicals that can damage the DNA in cells. So the bottom line, therefore, of the question, can I just eat fruits, would be the following. It is best that we cut back on fructose, which is the sugar in fruits. But I'm not saying don't eat fruits, meaning cut back on fructose, but don't do it by giving up fruit. Rather, think of the idea that fruit is good for you, but a serving of fruit per meal becomes a minor source of fructose for most people. But with all its benefits, we strongly recommend that you eat one fruit after each meal. There's a word of caution. The processed foods that contain refined sugar and high fructose corn syrup is the culprit of too much fructose in the body. Examples of these processed foods that you should limit and avoid and check on the labels if they contain high fructose corn syrup would be the breakfast cereals, the pastries, the sodas, the fruit drinks, and other sweet foods and beverages. So what does it mean? Can I eat fruits to lose weight? Yes, fruits are definitely healthy. But remember, because of its fructose content and other side problems, if you eat too much, know your limits. One serving of fruit after each meal should be enough. Whether it can cause weight loss and therefore I recommend it, here's my answer. I don't recommend a fruit diet to lose weight. Please review my videos in the past of what's the best way to lose weight the healthier way. So if you like my videos, please click subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified for new videos. So if you want more uh, topics like this in the future, please feel free to message me in my YouTube channel or in my Facebook Messenger. With that, thank you very much.